ಎಲ್ಲೇ ಇರಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಇರಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಇರಿ ಎಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ರೂ ಎಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ರೂ ಕನ್ನಡವಾಗಿರಿ ಕನ್ನಡವಾಗಿರಿ ಹುಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕನ್ನಡ ನಾಡಲ್ಲಿ ನಾರಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ಹುಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ಹಾಯ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆ ಫೈ ನಾನು ಆಂಕರ್ ರಂಗನಾಥ್ ಗೌಡ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಜಿಮಿ ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹೌ ಯು ಸರ್ ಐಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಐಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೌಸ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಸರ್ so far so good i've only been here for one day, one day. you know but uh, but i like what i'm seeing yeah. you know i like the hospitality and uh, and i like the visual of what i'm seeing it looks seems to be like a very modern kind of city yes. you know from what i see very nice sir so good to hear it from you uh, so and uh, coming back to goat life yeah. so how important is this movie for you because you've done all the genre of uh, movies in different different uh, languages and you've also been uh the worldwide uh, star mm-hmm. already so how important is goat life for you sir uh you know it, it means a lot because this is my first movie in india so automatically it will introduce me to the to the indian audience yes and to be able to be introduced by such a fantastic movie so that you know that means a lot so now we'll see how that translates uh I am based in Los Angeles and I've done all kind of Hollywood movies, yes. you know, movies in Europe, movies in South America, in Africa and 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 finally I'm doing something here in India. So so yeah, and also working with uh, some very experienced actors and director on this one. Okay. And uh, how did the opportunity come to you sir like uh, so when you want to uh, wanted to play a character called as Ibrahim yeah so uh, how did you get an opportunity and uh, where did they find the contact number of yours yeah <laughs> you know i almost missed out on this i almost missed out cuz i kept receiving those emails and okay. i never replied cuz i didn't know what they were about you know i see indian production i was like you know i just left it and then and then one day i was like you know what, let's just answer and see what what's going on and then as i'm answering then i'm getting more information each each with each email give me more information about okay. the project and that's how i i ended up understanding that it was actually a very important story so i believe it's it's raj that identified me uh as a potential cadre and uh and they targeted me and you know they, and they got me so i'm happy to have answered number one and uh, when i when i went to algeria for the first time to yeah. to start production that's when i realized that it was really uh, a, a great production uh, because of the the level of of uh, equipment that we had in the desert it was very difficult to transport things in the desert yeah. just based on that itself i knew that we had it had to be something quite amazing and special and then of course i started to work with the uh, with the director Blessy who's uh, who's a visionary uh he knows what he wants he knows how to get it uh regardless on the price he has to pay to get his exact vision that's what he's going to get he doesn't compromise at all yeah and that speaks loud for 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 director and then of course i i worked with some amazing actors you know including the lead uh, played by by Raj. Prithvi Raj sir. Yeah. Yeah and uh, uh, did you know like uh, the director dedicated his 16 years of uh, his life just for this film uh, to make this film and uh, which was a uh, global I mean which was a Malayalam novel uh, which was a totally super hit uh, magazine I mean no, novel. Yeah. Uh, so did you know that uh, he sacrificed his 16 no, years? No I didn't know those things prior to me saying yes to the project you okay. know I mean as I say I didn't know anyone you know I started to research them as I after i said yes but i didn't know that for 16 years he had not done anything else you know for him it was the only vision he had it's the only thing he wanted to do yeah so that's a long time that's a long time and i think it's worth it when you see the 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 end product it's just a masterpiece i saw it yesterday for the first time okay and and i saw it in a language that I don't understand and all the emotion was there. i mean everything was there you know 
So do you think that uh, the language has something to do with the films because uh, people do connect with the emotions, but still, if they want to uh, really enjoy the movie, do you have, uh, do you really think that uh, the language has to be connected uh, to the audience? Uh, on, in this case, no, not, not at all. I okay. mean, lucky for you guys, I think it's dubbed in your language. Yes. I saw it without subtitles okay. in a language that I don't understand. Okay. And I still connected to the story. Okay. So that tells you that, you know, uh, you don't necessarily need the language, but if you have the language, it's, it's even better. And which you will have because it is dubbed. Exactly. So people do connect it uh, with the emotional uh, emotions uh, when you have uh, with your own language. So, and yes, uh, so before uh, you know, starting the shooting of the movie or yeah. before coming to the sets uh, of the movie, uh, who was who the crew that uh, you actually knew about uh, in the movies? Zero. Zero. I didn't know anyone from that production. Okay. You know, when I got there, uh, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But at the same time, that's part of, of who I am. I'm an adventurer. I mean, I just take risks, you know. And that's why I shoot movies all over the world. Yeah. Uh, for me, it, w it was just going to be another experience in a beautiful place, uh, the deserts of, uh, of Algeria and, yeah. and then Jordan. But I really didn't know what I was getting myself into until I got there. And then I realized, oh, wow, this is quite something. And then I have a funny story uh, yeah. regarding Raj. Uh, the first time I, 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 uh, I was on set, uh, I think I was speaking with the director, with Blessy, about something. And then suddenly came from far away a man surrounded by about 10 people. Someone is holding the umbrella. Oh, yeah. Someone is fixing the dress. Someone is fixing the shoes. I'm <laughs> like, who the heck is this in the desert? <laughs> so that was him coming in. Yeah. And that's when I realized, like, okay, this guy must be a huge star in he India. He's a Malayan you know? superstar, <laughs> so, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, that's when I realized, like, okay, this is like a, a rock star coming in, you exactly. know. So, so it, was, it was very interesting, especially when you think that you're in the middle of the desert. And yeah. that's what you see for the first time. And that's how I met him. Uh, physically for the first time so it was it was it was lovely but also an indication of uh, of, of 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 who he was yes you know what i mean yes and uh, the movie shot in uh, 2018 and uh, it was uh, there was covid in between so yeah. you had some gap so uh, uh, you had the hope that you will come back and shoot it again or how was it um as far as i'm concerned i came after after the COVID. yeah okay i i came after COVID 19. actually they contacted me during COVID 19. okay and uh and honestly the reason why i didn't answer it's because i didn't want to go i didn't want to come uh, i was in a very difficult situation over there i was okay. at the hospital okay uh and that is regarding uh some personal okay. matter and I didn't want to leave uh, the States for anything. So that's why I actually neglected that, that, that email for, for weeks, okay. for weeks. And then they kept coming back and then at one point I'm like, okay, let's just check it and see. But I've thought it, it would be a spam also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, spam, you, you, you know spam when you see spam. Yeah. I could see that it was a well-structured email and there okay. was someone behind that. Okay. It's just that in... Really, I just didn't want to get out. I wanted to stay in, in Los Angeles to take care of what I was doing. Okay. But I'm so glad that, uh, that I opened that email and that I said yes to a project that is now introducing me to potentially a huge... Uh, the Indian, Indian film industry. Yeah, yeah completely. <laughs> yes, and we also welcome you to the uh, Canada film industry. So yeah, thank you. And so I hope any, to do a movie, to, uh, to do a movie yes. with you guys. You know, <laughs> I'd love to. I hear you do some great action movies. So definitely here I am. So. I can take on anyone. <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. We are waiting for it. Uh, right. And uh, did you happen to meet uh, the, uh, the original uh, soul of this uh, movie, sir? Uh, the Najib, Najib Mohammed. Did yes, you to meet yes, him? yes, yes, yes. So oh what was the interaction God. with him? Uh, I met him in Kochi. Okay. I mean, what a story, number one. And then to actually see him alive and kicking. Uh, I just, I like to look at his eyes. His eyes just speak volume. And... And he's very reserved. He's not, you know, he's just, it's just amazing to, you know, the energy that comes from him. Uh, so I spoke to him a little bit, but as I say, he doesn't like to talk too much, you know, okay. maybe because he's seen so much. That, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so I met him and his family. Okay. And uh, 
uh, did you happen to meet the character ibrahim or uh, no no i i no. is he still uh, i don't have or? a clue okay. i've never met him i don't know if he i don't know where he's at so i have no clue okay so uh, how was the preparation for the character sir uh, because at the same time i think that character uh, i can't tell you too much about it because i'll i'll give too much away so yeah. so better if i don't say anything exactly watch the movie and you know what i'm talking about <laughs> okay <laughs> and uh, you know any kannada film actors sir uh, personally i mean or uh, do you know anything I about i don't them? know them personally i mean i know that the, there is the, there is i mean there are some of them that do that do action movies i know there is one guy who worked with a friend of mine uh pretty tall with a I, I can't remember his name. I don't know. Uh, the mass uh, hero, um, action prince, Dhruva Sarja. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. had uh, K. Green also uh, working for the movie as a opposite of him, opposite yeah. of his character. Yeah. Okay. But but I don't know. I don't know the people. So you know, I'm I'm more than happy to to meet and discuss and and exchange. You yeah. know, with as many as possible. Yeah, and uh, after uh, getting into this Malayalam movie, uh, did you watch any other Malayalam movies of Prithvi uh, Rajas? Uh, I've seen clips. I've not seen the whole movie. I've seen clips, but okay. now I'm going to have to go home and and do some real homework. You know, not just with uh, movies from from Kerala, but you know, Canada, from even from from Mumbai, yeah. uh, from Chennai. Just because I'm 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 hearing a lot of names that are extremely powerful here, but I don't really know who they are. so you know it's it, it gives you an excuse to actually research the indian cinema okay. and and try to understand who's who like yesterday i think i met like pretty much uh 30 people from the film industry in uh hyderabad yeah but i don't know who they are okay and everybody's saying that they're the top people over there so i'd like to research them too just to be knowledgeable and i'll i'll want to do the same here as well research all the actors and 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 directors and producers so you know at least I, i can have a conversation i can watch some of their movies so i know what they're doing and we have something to talk about so i can suggest you some of the movies which you can actually watch and uh, please, you will definitely please send me a text <laughs> so about them and 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 kgf kantara katera and uh, you can also watch charlie and then uh, we have uh, uh rangi taranga lucia so these are uh, okay. top uh, movies I mean, that the, we have the, actually the most important one that i know about it's kg kgf yeah kgf because yeah. even in the states you know everybody spoke about that one yes yeah. how uh, excited are you to ma- of, of making a debut in you our know, film you know i'm i'm very you know I, i'm not going to lie i'm very just because i realized that uh, it's special because you don't have too many people like me yeah in this film industry so i'm like because of my experience my worldwide experience i'm thinking huh maybe i could add a little something in the mix you know what i mean it might be a way to introduce characters like me you know in a movie that that is designed for for an audience but yeah. also can mix it up a little bit by introducing different characters like yes. that you know it can only give it like an international appeal without taking away from from uh, from the message and from the audience yeah. appeal so i'm like yeah i think might be a little niche there going on you know if 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 i'm you know if i'm focused about it i think yeah i wouldn't mind doing more and really dive into that uh, that indian yes uh, industry yes sir. and uh, so along with that uh, i want to say i want to mention one thing uh, the movie of yours uh, rattlesnake i uh, like it very much oh you saw that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's my so, own little baby i produced it you know exactly. acted in it yeah, yeah rattlesnake <laughs> thank you yeah, yeah. and uh, also sir uh, so we want uh, we want you to uh, tell something in kannada which is like uh, inviting you in- inviting uh, the have audience you seen, have you seen the, before we get there have you seen the latest the last uh, movie that i shot with bruce willis uh no sir cuz uh, cuz you know bruce willis is sick so he's he's completely he's retired now yeah it's 70 uh, years now i guess no no he's 67 no he's, he's 70 now he's turned he, 70 now no he's 67 okay okay you know he's not 70 yet yeah uh but he's getting there yeah, soon yeah. in two or three years uh but no i i did his last movie his okay. very last movie his very last scene we shot in canada okay. and that's before they announced that he was going to be retired and okay. i didn't know so i th- i thought it was so special especially knowing that i did a movie with him like way back in 2001 mm. tears of the sun and and at that time he was probably 
one of the highest paid actors, you know. So, of course, exactly. you had a man full of power. It was him, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, uh, Denzel Washington, okay. and Leonardo DiCaprio, and Brad Pitt, I think. They were the most paid, paid actors, actors back then. Exactly. And, and I had a chance to do a movie with him back then. Fast forward 20 years later, I do three more movies with him. Okay. And, and his last movie, we did together, which I didn't know. And, and in that movie, we played partners, two cops, you know, resolving uh, problems. Problems, yes. So, so yeah, it's, it, it's just funny how, uh, how Destiny would have, have me yeah. do that, you know, like full circle with, with Bruce Willis. So anyway, just just a little big up for him and I hope everything will be okay with him and his family. Yes, sir. And I want you to please repeat it after me. So whatever the Go ahead, go I for say. it. <laughs> please don't, do try don't, it. Don't no? force me to do nasty, to say nasty things. No, not, not a nasty thing, but it's, a, <laughs> it's actually a dialogue from uh, our Kannada film industry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Yelle Hiri. Yelle Hiri. Hege Hiri. Yelle Hiri. Hege Hiri. Hege Hiri. Yelle Hidrono. Yelle Hidrono. Kannada Wagiri. Kannada Wagiri. Kannada Wagiri. Yes, exactly. And uh, you can teach me some other dialogue of yourself. So I'm open to it. What language would you like? In? French, uh, Spanish, French, Italian? French. Okay, French would be good. Sir. French. What do you want to hear? Uh, anything from your movie, sir. Anything from... Uh, uh, or uh, how do you uh, invite people to the uh, theatres on March 28th? So you can uh, just to see the God life. Je vous invite... Please Je vous, Je vous invite, invite d'aller au cinéma, au cinéma le, le 28 mars, 28 mars pour voir le film, pour voir le film The Gold Life. The Gold Life. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> Got it right. <laughs> But it was fun, sir. Uh, and what is the one thing that you, uh, I mean, uh, you like about Bangalore? And uh, what is it, any food that you particularly like in Bangalore? First I mean, of all, I, I love the food from South India. Okay. Uh, I mainly eat uh, vegetarian. Okay. A little bit of fish from time to time, but vegetarian. And here I have plenty of choice. Okay. You know, some places are a little bit spicier than others. But uh, I hear the food here is great. So I'm going to have lunch very soon. So I'll, I'll be able to answer that question. Yeah. And, uh, and also, I've, I was told that uh, here is really a destination for people who want to have fun, have a good time. It's really the place to be. And I can actually visually see it. You know, there's something appealing about here yeah. compared to the other cities uh, that I've been to. So, so, so I can't wait to visit uh, uh, the city and, and try to understand the culture a bit better and understand the people. And, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I have one song uh, from uh, Annauru's movie, uh, which is Doc Dr. Rajkumar's movie, who okay. is actually the godfather of uh, our Kannada film industry. We okay. actually believe him like that. Cool. So he's actually no more now with us. But uh, the, the ethics and the kind of works that uh, he has done mm -hmm. is always with us. Uh, I have one liner, uh, one song uh, mm -hmm. of him, uh, of his movie. Okay. So I want you to repeat it after me, sir. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, uh, it is Dr. Rajkumar's song. You can mention it as this Dr. Rajkumar's song. Doctor Rajkumar's song. Rajkumar's song. Rajkumar means like uh, in uh, Kannada we say it as like you know the king. I mean the Maharaja. Ah, okay. So Rajkumara is. Uh, Rajkumara. Is a synonym of uh, uh, Maharaja or uh, king. Okay. Like okay. That. okay. Got you. Uh, so yeah. Hutti dare. Hutti dare. Kannada Nadali. Kannada. 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 Nadali. Nadali. Uta beko. Uta beko. Metti dare. Metti dare. Kannada. Kannada. Mannano. Mannano. Metta beko. Metta beko. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled it off very great, sir. Uh, so uh, definitely yes. Uh, so we have to say that uh, may you get uh, more and more opportunities, and uh, we also want you to see in uh, Kannada films. Yeah. So not just by dubbing, uh, we want you also completely to do a full-fledged uh, feature film. So your height and personality definitely matches for a uh, definitely matches for a villain uh, uh, character. So we want you ah, to villain, good, all kind of things. I can be the romantic, <laughs> romantic guy, guy too, guys, you know, everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we are open for it, sir. I'm open for it. Come on now. <laughs> yes, and uh, thank you so much for joining us, sir. And yes, wishing indeed. you all the very best for March 28th and uh, for all your uh, future projects. Yes. Wishing you all the very best, sir. Yes, and I really invite everybody to go and see The Goat Life. It's a masterpiece. You know, you're going to be traveling with us. It's a real journey and uh, it's a survival story. 
you will love it. It's good for the whole family, the kids, the parents, the grandparents. Uh, really, it's a human story, and we can all relate. So go and see The Goat Life on March 28th, everywhere in theaters. The worldwide uh, movie is releasing, and I want everybody to please watch the cinema. If March 28th, you can see the theaters. Go to life, and I'm not going to see it.